I'm like actually speechless. I just got a text five minutes ago. It's 8.30 this morning. Um, but that I officially have a Forbes article. I'm like sending it to my parents right now. I haven't sent it to Dylan yet. I think he's gonna get home from his workout class soon, so I'm gonna like surprise him. But about, I don't know, a few weeks ago, um, they reached out about doing an article. And um, obviously I was like freaking out, but obviously until I see it like this, like I, I didn't know when it was gonna come out. We s submitted the photos and everything like that. I was like, maybe it'll come out in the spring. I literally have no clue. And then I got a text this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, we did it. And I was like, oh. I feel like everything I do is for like that younger version of myself. This is getting too deep for the first few minutes of the video, but whatever. Um, but everything I do, I feel like is for her, like for younger Hannah and like I, I'm just really like proud of her. Like I'm proud of me obviously now, like where I am and where I've come. But I think the further I get from like that younger version of myself who I was just so protective over, it, I don't know. It just takes like big things like this for me to like reconnect with that version of myself. And I'm just really excited about it. And um, yeah, it's pretty huge. With Bachelor, it's been like the biggest gift of my life. Like literally my life kind of changed overnight in so many cool ways. I met Dylan and experiences and literally everything. Um, but I will say it's kind of difficult to separate from it in a sense, which is not a bad thing. But like, I, I feel like so many people like heavily associate me with Bachelor a lot of the time. So it's cool to be recognized as a businesswoman, which is pretty cool. So, woo! So right now it is 8.37. Yes, I slept. We're not gonna make a big deal about it. Nobody make a big deal about it, but yeah. So I'm driving to LA today and I'm going to like a cool dermatologist appointment. I've never been to a dermatologist tomorrow. I'll be in LA and I have like a hair appointment, a workout class, like I think I'm taking it easy. No plans for Saturday. And then Sunday, um, I'm going to the People's Choice Awards, which I'm so excited about. I've never been, um, but that'll be in Santa Monica and I'm gonna do like a fitting, I think later today and it's just gonna be a busy weekend. So I said, let's do a little week in my life, weekend in my life. I don't know, I don't really do ones like this a lot. And I was actually watching um, some inspo like of how people do weekly vlogs because I'm like, am I supposed to just cut my camera off and literally turn it on randomly the next day? I don't know, but bear with me. Um, but yeah. My wife is in Forbes. Woo! Okay, here's my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing this black, um, I need a lip roller really bad. Um, but it's like a one piece bodysuit with sneaks because it's comfy for the car. And then I just dressed it up with this little leather blazer thing. I don't know, I'll do some sunnies. That's the look. Just got like a facial mask for this weekend. I'm in Calabasas right now. I'm so happy I wasn't late. Um, I was like getting close because LA traffic is really something else. But letting my mask set and then I rinse it off. And she also checked my little bump here. I don't know if you all have noticed, but I have a little bump and I was kind of worried about it. Um, and turns out it's all fine, it's benign. If I want to remove it, I can. Um, but that was really relieving to me because this is my first time at a dermatologist, so good to know. And also go get checked. If anything looks suspicious, get something checked, okay? 
Okay, we are back at the hotel with my stylist, hey Lisa. <laughs> She's amazing. You've been styling me since it, uh, since I got off the show, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Since after, yeah. 2019, 2020? 19. 2019, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Long time. Um, so we are going to find a fun outfit for the PCAs, People's Choice Awards. Um, she pulled a bunch of fun looks. I thought I could try some on here. Um, but it's funny. I was talking to, um, Tiffany. She works with me and yeah. I was like, I'm going to do a fitting. And she was like, so what do you do at a fitting? Like, what do you mean? And I was like, that is kind of funny. I guess a lot of people don't like yeah. day to day really do fitting stuff. Anyway, so I, um, a fitting is basically where like she already knows my sizing and like my favorites and she sent a bunch of looks to me. Um, and I was like going through and being like, I love these. And then she chooses some based off of like her professional expert yes. eye, obviously, and what she knows, what my style is. Um, and then I just try them all on and we play dress up. It's like a big <laughs> dress up party. So lots of fun. that's what we're going to do, right? Yes. And I think you have all the, ex you have accessories and all, all that stuff. stuff. So she's going to yeah. go head to toe. So let's do it. <laughs> It's funny, she never pulls red for me because <laughs> I'm a psycho and I don't like red on my Instagram feed, which is so stupid, but that's just, that's she just how it is. doesn't she usually pull. pull it. Yeah, <laughs> so we have lots of pretty champagnes. I've never seen this one, this is fun. Yeah. Um, and we were just talking about it. It's a pretty dressy event, which is kind of fun because I never really get to like get super gowned up. High slit. <gasps> Wow, yeah. everything. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, so these are more shorter, just a little more like fun, but they're mm -hmm. a good brand, so. Yeah, it's like a cool. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you're uh, walking with cameras, you can see the like movement and your body shape for sure. Yeah, so there's a corset under here, but then we were like, we should try to cinch and just see. <gasps> Let's oh, see how much more sick. shape it gives you, and then you see this so much more. Wow. This is very cool. Yeah. Oh, we love this a lot. Like I was just saying, if this was like the only one she brought, I would be like, yes. But we're wondering how it's going to look on the carpet. And, and I'm wondering because there's so many feathers. Mm -hmm. Like, is there a chance that it could look like a lot? Or do you think since it's sheer? I think it's sheer. It tones it down a little bit. Or if it had a slit or something, do you think that would give it more? Or is it like, no, it's already a... No, Just I little. think if you did the slit, you eliminate like the sheerness of it. I think, you know what I mean. Yeah. A lot of we'll have to walk in it. <laughs> We're gonna break the wait. <laughs> the mirror like falls and breaks. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we have this one. It has the sparkle under. Um, it's definitely very flattering, and I know I'll be really comfortable in it, mm -hmm. which we like. Mm -hmm. I wish this was tighter. Like mm. Okay, so we like this dress actually. It's just a little too big. We were like, we could probably cinch it a little bit and it would be a little, I don't know, better fit. And so she was like, I might have a brooch. So she would literally end up grabbing all of this material and possibly adding a brooch where it does that. Well, okay, well yeah. we're not sure if this one's going to go. Yeah, I don't think it is. There's and no I stretch. think she might be a little, a little short. short. <laughs> We're good if there's, you know, some water on the ground. It's not gonna hit the no. dress. But I don't think she's gonna go. No. Nope. So I really like this brand. No, I think right of, here is a little that's funky that's on me. That's what I said. Or at least that's maybe in like the photos. Say, it's so it's a no. Look at that beautiful view. Wow. I'll never get over it. <laughs> this way is pretty. This is not giving morning. Um, okay, so I think I left off. Um, I'm going with the white dress on Sunday. So the white feather one, I'm excited. It's definitely gonna be like a fashion moment, but I think it'll be fun. The so last night we went to dinner and um, we went to the, like the steak spot. It's called Boa. It was really good. Um, and then we were like, okay, let's go home. And then we're like, actually, let's go meet J our friends, Jason, um, for a drink. They're literally right next door. One drink turned into two. 
two turned into three. Anyways, so um, <laughs> we ended up hanging out with them. It was super fun, but I was really hoping <laughs> to do LA right and like, I mean, we went to bed, I think, at like midnight, so like it, we're fine and we slept, which is great. Anyway, so um, today um, I am getting my hair done. I'm getting a blowout at 10.30. Um, I thought it'd be a good base for getting my hair done tomorrow, and my hair is really dirty right now. And then after I get a blowout, I'm doing a rumble class, which is boxing, um, which is across the street. So I know it's kind of messed up to do hair and then a workout, but it's fine. I don't get like my hair doesn't get that sweaty or anything, or my scalp, so it'll be fine. Okay, we got a blowout. Um, I kind of feel funny vlogging in public, but who cares? I feel like it's LA, like everybody kind of does it. Um, but I ended up getting my hair done after my workout. And I, I don't really know what we're gonna do. I think Dylan got us some food, so we're gonna eat in the hotel room and just chill. Hear me out. I feel like in California or maybe just LA, all of the billboards are of like movies and stuff or like really high-end brands, which I guess makes sense. But I feel like in Alabama, it's like lawyer, call here, or like Chick-fil-A billboards. Like it's not movies. But I always just think that's really funny. Um, somebody pointed it out to me and I was like, yeah, all of these billboards are of movies here. Prime example. Movie, movie. I think that's another movie back here. Another movie. Another movie. Hi! So Dylan went and played basketball. How was it? I played for two hours. It's very fun. And, and then she got. Friends. You made friends? Boys are so funny with their basketball. I always talk about it, but they like get there and they automatically are like. You, 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 like. You just hang on next. You just play with nine random strangers for like a couple hours. But how do you know who plays what position? Like, hey, I'm gonna do this one to the left. Like, there's none of that. Just, you kind of just know. Hmm. Normally, people like know their their role. I have something called anxiety, so I could never do that. Dylan got me my favorite salad. This is um, California chicken, chicken cafe. cafe. It's the, the go. When I tell you, if you are ever in, I I mean, is it just in southern like LA, in LA? Maybe it's just in LA. There's like six locations. Or? Guys, this is all like fresh ingredients. You not me it's like chicken. It's like thirteen dollars. And it's all so fresh. I could pick on this for like two meals because it's so heavy, and like has so much food in it um but yeah it's amazing i'm getting ready right now we're gonna do dinner and probably i really want to finish watching um love is blind i've been really into the new season so i'm gonna probably try to tune into that tonight i've um i'm whitening my teeth right now that's why i sound weird and probably look weird um but i found like a little whitening old whitening strip thing and I was like I should probably wipe my teeth if I'm gonna wear a white dress so it like I don't know I feel like your teeth can look yellow oh. I've really enjoyed YouTubing the past few days like vlogging but what do you guys think like where do you spend your time I know so many people like scroll on TikTok I feel like YouTube is definitely more candid and I don't feel like I'm trying to catch somebody's attention really quick so that they watch and view or say something really creative or interesting. I don't know. Like, I like that YouTube, I can just kind of talk and be me. Okay, so where I worked out today, Rumble, it's like the boxing class. The last time I was in LA, we stayed at this hotel and I booked a Rumble class because it's right down the street. You can walk there. And I went and had the best time. And I saw this guy who looked so familiar, like, and in my head, I saw him in the beginning of class, and then I was thinking the whole time, I was like, I know this guy, he's either from a show, like, I think he actually might even be one of Dylan's friends, like, I really felt like, I was like, oh wait, I know this guy, like, for some reason I was like, yes, like, 
this is like Dylan's friend or something like that. And it was killing me. I was like, who was it? I could not for the life of me remember. And then in a dream, it came to me, literally. And I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, it was Britney Spears' ex-husband. I can't talk with this. <laughs> um, it was him. And so I'm really happy I didn't go up to him and be like, hey, like, how do we know each other again? Like, you're, you know, Dylan, right? Like, I'm really happy I didn't do that because I almost did that because it was bothering me. But I'm really happy because I literally don't know him at all. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um... We ended up going and getting sushi at a really local, cute spot last night. It's called Catch. <laughs> it's like very LA, but really, I, I really love the food. It's so good. Um, anyways, we just went and grabbed Catch and then came home. We were so tired um, and then went to bed. I couldn't really fall asleep till really late. I didn't even want to look at the time. Um, but I'm feeling it was kind of late, uh, maybe 3 a.m. or something. So I didn't sleep the best, but um, I was able to end up falling asleep, which I'll take. Um, but I'm just so excited for today. And I did see on the forecast it might rain later. So I'm like, what do they do if it rains for a carpet? I don't know. But I'm just going to show up. And... Also, I used to be really lazy and never clean the hotel room I was in just because I was like, why would I do that? And now I've learned, like, if you're, if you're a space, especially if it's a hotel room and you, like, don't live there, if it feels put together, like, you will have a different day. Okay, just got my order in from Joe in the Juice. I love this place. Um, I used to not really get the hype, and then I got this one sandwich, and then I dream about it and think about it every day. Oh my gosh, I love their packaging. It's so adorable. When me and Dina were in London last year, they had a Joe in the Juice. Oh! <laughs> There's coffee. Okay, so there, we're going to have some coffee in here. Fine. Um, but when we were in London... Um, Dina ordered the sandwich one day and I was like, okay, whatever. It's so good. It's like their turkey flatbread. I don't think it's actually, it's definitely not gluten free, but it is so good. And it's great for like a day like today where I'm going to be busy and like, I need like some substance, you know? So we have, it's like a crunchy, crunchy flatbread with, um, turkey, tomato, um, cheese. I add jalapeno and then they put hot sauce on it and there's pesto and it is just so, it works. It, I don't know what it is, it just works. Vanilla latte, this juice was like so stupid expensive, um, but it's like a carrot, apple juice, ginger. It can't be that bad for me, it might help. Okay, so my makeup artist Danielle sent some good makeup inspo um, that we could kind of go for today. This one's pretty too. Um, I was saying I kind of like with the dress like a glossy wash kind of on my lid versus like a glam matte moment because I don't want it to feel too bridal. Like I feel like if it's like gloss and like more relaxed, I don't know. I feel like it'll look good. Okay, we have Glam here. We have Bradley and Danielle. Um, so, um, she's working on the face while the skin looks really good right now. Airbrush. Yes. And um, Bradley was saying we'll do kind of like up with like a piece down and like a twisty, right? Real classic modern take on the French twist vibe. We're letting the outfit speak for itself, fam. Yeah, we don't need to do too much. Do you guys feel married? Do you feel different that you're married? Do you tell? No. I feel like it's fun to make like goals together. Mm. Like, oh, we want to live here one day. Mm. Like we... Yeah, you're just more like united. 
yeah like oh that'd be cool to have property here like let's travel here next year like making mm -hmm. plans where mm -hmm. it's like goals together like that feels really exciting mm -hmm. and fun i love that i love watching these vlogs back and like i don't know it's really fun i feel like it's like home videos totally hi future hannah <laughs> If you follow the night, please get some sleep. <laughs> I feel like I'm like putting on a baby onesie. <laughs> Just feel like that. Look, Dill, what you got? Who are you wearing today, Fashion Police? Ooh! I'm wearing socks, though. You are? Don't cancel me, Fashion Police. Okay, well maybe you take them off and put them in your pocket and then you can change into them if that makes you more comfortable. No, I feel good. As long as they don't look like you're Okay. Oh, <laughs> it was like blurry. Here's my look! Literally, Glam crushed her makeup. And then, Dil, you can, it's <laughs> just holding it. <laughs> Will you show the dress? I hope I don't trip on anything. But it is a look. I'm very excited. For a second, we thought it was ripped in the back, but it's just like a gap thing. So that was scary, but so you can it's all good. like poop out of it, or okay. We're pulling up. We've spotted Mike from Jersey Shore. I love the Jersey Shore so much. Me too. This is what it looks like. Everybody's just in a line. <laughs> been bestowed upon me, it will sit proudly on my nightstand, where it will witness many feats of romantic gymnastics, be on my finest hell wife, Jacqueline. 